Hey, yo, what's good, fam? Appreciate y'all tapping into the channel on this Tuesday. I know I'm probably catching you guys by surprise. I haven't uploaded on a Tuesday in quite some time, but, you know, I decided it's a beautiful day out. I'm here in Blucifer. I got all my stuff knocked out for the day, and why not? bring you guys a video and kind of a controversial video especially in the mustang world as of today and that's going to be discussing the mustang s650 and as you guys know about three four weeks ago maybe i shared a video um pretty much breaking the news that i had ordered a g oh my god i almost said gt350 i wish um that, that's one day but i did order a um 2024 performance pack race red base gt which should be going into production Monday. Um, it's the 25th. Uh, so I think that's Monday. Um, things are starting to get real. Um, the time is almost here and I'm pretty sure once they go into production, it's like four or five days max and it is built and then it's going to be shipped to the dealership, which I got my car from the Ford that Jake got his dark horse at. Um, the whole plan and hopefully this works is, uh, you know, we're both going to take delivery on the same day. But, uh, today I'm here to just strictly talk about the 650. Um, is it worth it? Why I almost backed out and I'm still at like a 90 slash 10%, like 90% I'm doing it, 10% I'm still on the edge, but I'm going to share with you all why I'm going to, as of right now, um, get the car because a couple days ago I was dead set on canceling my order and we're going to go through all of that today. But uh, yeah, right now we're still going to take delivery of it. Um, I have some information to share with you all, and I am just going to speak my mind on this new platform of a Mustang, which uh, I, I mean, there's a lot of content creators out there completely meat riding this car. I'm not going to be one of them. I'm going to be 100% honest, and yeah, it's just not making sense. I know it's not making sense because I'm, I'm buying the car, but I, I'm, I'm not meat riding the car because I truly do think Ford kind of flopped on this. Not kinda, they flopped. They flopped hard on this on this whole new model when they could have absolutely took over the automotive industry by storm with this. Let's start up, Lucifer. Let's talk about it. Do me a quick favor, guys. If you want this kind of content every Tuesday and Thursday where I just mic up and we talk about a topic in you know the automotive space, drop a like up on this video, comment down below, let me know, and make sure you subscribe with bell notifications. Let's start up Lucifer. As you guys can probably tell, I am mic'd up to eliminate a lot of the exhaust noise, the drone, the wind. So um, we're gonna hope this works. Oh God, I love this car, man. This is the car you need to buy. An S197, either from 2011, 2014, preferably 13, 14 in my opinion. 11, 12s look good, they have a unique look, but 13, 14, S197, don't sleep on them. Best Mustang ever created, don't at me. It's the truth. I want to put the windows down, but I really don't want to butcher the content. So we're going to try to make do here and uh, hopefully sweat a little. Oh, 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 oh. S650 Mustang, Ford's new innovation for their 2024 model. Uh, I think the best thing to do is kind of go over some pros and cons, some of the obvious stuff, and uh, you know we can get a little more detailed and I can kind of explain to you why I think it's a good idea for me to pick this up and uh, you know there's a lot of creators out there like I said that are absolutely meat riding this platform and there are a lot of creators that don't like this platform and uh, you know we're kind of just going to go and dissect it all and I'm going to give you my take on it and you know I'm going to give you Derek's take and I'm going to give you the take of Derek Brand Productions because essentially these are two different entities. I know it's you know one human that is both of them but there is a good reason why I'm doing this and there's also a reason why I wouldn't do this. Let's go and start off and you know talk about some of the pros with the S650. Uh, personally, I think they look pretty cool. Um, you know, they changed up the body style and stuff and, you know, gave the interior some new gadgets, which the interior I'm not really a fan of. Uh, the big screen right in your face, like, no joke, it like sits this high and it's LCD right in your, right in your face. I, I'm not a fan of that at all. And this is why, you know, my S197 is still here today because uh, you get the Coyote engineering, but you still have a Mustang feel and not to mention the Mustang look. I know the S650, I said it looks cool for an S550, but I think this is perfect. And uh, this is what I love. I just love simplistic 
raw feeling, but yet it still has some comfort on road trips and it just feels good overall. Now the whole screen, I know a lot of tech people out there like that kind of stuff. I'm not really one of them, honestly, and especially when it's like in your face. Now the digital dash on the Mach 1, I'm a huge fan of because it's still in the dash. Like it's in the dash, but it's all digital. That's fine. Like you can config it however you want, whatever. But the LCD screen on the on the new one, I just think it's too much. Um, so I, that that's a gripe. That's a con. I know we were starting off with pros, but I kind of got off on a tangent there. Um, yeah. So LCD big no for me. I can already hear the YouTube comments, but let's get back to the pros before I absolutely shred the car with the cons. Uh, you know, we have the looks, we have a Gen 4 Coyote, which from my understanding is a really strong motor. Um, it's going to be, you know, a lot stronger than your Gen 1, Gen 2. I don't really know the comparison between Gen 3 and Gen 4, but you know, that has that going for it. So if you do end up getting the Whipple kit, which is the only like boost that's on the market now that I know of without having to do like MoTeC or anything like that, then yeah, I mean, you're gonna have a rowdy ass car from the factory, which, you know, is very impressive. But at the same time, you still have the Gen 3s that make a thousand wheel. And you know, a lot of people are out there making a thousand wheel on those cars for a long time. So can't really say it's that much of a pro because to your average guy, you know, such as myself, and I'm on this YouTube stuff and whatnot i'm not you know i'm not trying to make 12 1300 wheel out of a stock car like if my mach 1 ends up making 900 wheel at some point i'm happy with that uh you don't you don't need more than that to be honest let me backtrack here i'm not going to knock that but uh if thousand wheel gen 3 we'll say 1100 wheel gen 4 i don't know what whoop they do and with the new gen 4 you have the dual intake system which from my understanding is going to cause some headaches uh you know everybody complains and moans about everything being so expensive, well, guess what? When these things are tunable and you wanna throw a cold air intake on, not only are you gonna be spending 300, who just revved at me? Oh, I will gap your ass. You're gonna spend $300 on, I don't know, a JLT, but guess what? Boom, now you have two to buy. Um, so <laughs> expect to spend more money when it comes to just making a simple 15, 20 wheel horsepower with some intakes. Uh, so that's a con, I mean, see, here we go. We're going down the con path already. This is just getting ugly. Pros, 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 I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, to your average consumer, honestly, I I, I don't know. You have, a, you have a drift brake, but I bet you right now, if I do 40 miles per hour, turn this wheel and slam that damn e-brake i'm gonna swing this shit i don't know take it for what you will what else do we have we talked about the looks talked about the gen 4 being you know a little more powerful how about we talk about the fact that the gts are still coming with the mt82 awesome guys i know the dark horse is coming with the tremec i get it and if i'm being honest i don't really know if i can throw the power that it makes from the factory in the pro category because that is genuinely one of the things i think ford absolutely fumbled the most with this car um if you know i was releasing this and i have my gen 3 you know i'm seeing these dyno videos and i'm just not impressed um i think if the s650 came out swinging like big cock style and made 500 wheel as ford's banger s650 platform then i would be like okay you know this is a different car this is way different than the gen 3 it's making some serious steam from the factory and 500 wheel out of a naturally aspirated setup is not a joke like that is some serious stuff especially if it came from the factory but they fumbled it you know they did not make that happen if anything it's damn near the same as the gen 3 and uh i don't know it's with the whole fancy smashy dual intakes i just don't think it was a home run and i'm just being blatantly honest I honestly just can't think of any major, major pros right off the top of my head that get me super, super excited about this car. I'm trying to think of like some really, really important pros that this car is bringing to the consumer. And I, I just can't, I, I don't know anything else to really talk about as far as considering it a pro. Uh, as far as the cons though, you know, we just briefly went over a couple of them and you know, one of the main ones for me that kind of bummed me out with this is the fact that it's the same chassis. It's essentially the same thing as a Gen 3 with just a completely redone exterior. 
and the same power. I don't care what y'all say. It's it's not impressive um, considering the older model makes damn near the close or I don't know. I'm just gonna go and put this on the record. I'm gonna go and give it the nickname of the S550.5 because I feel like they made some changes but the changes weren't really relevant enough to call it an S650 other than the body's changed, the interior plasma flat screen to watch you know, the hub on. But now that I'm done kind of bickering about it, let's go and discuss why Derek is deciding not to cancel his order and to carry on throughout this whole ordeal and potentially risk a lot. So if I'm being honest, all it really boils down to guys is the fact that I started off this YouTube career, this business with a $7,000 two valve Mustang and that carried me to about 70, 72,000 subscribers. I then sold blue two valve. I picked up the Coyote Mustang that I've always dreamt of, a 2013 and Grabber Blue. Blucifer, driving it right now, still have it. That carried me to about, oh, till now, what do we have? 214,000 and you know, we obviously had some cars along the way. So I was always that guy that wanted to know what it felt like to be able to afford that brand new Mustang that comes to the market and take opportunity to be one of the first to start making some crucial content on it. And I was never in the position to do that. And I can honestly sit here and say thanks to y'all's support, buying the merch, watching the videos, subscribing, liking the videos. I am now in that position and there's this little ounce of me that wants to jump into it and just experience that feeling of just being like that content creator that can do it. And I'm not trying to be like everybody else. Like I've worked my ass off year after year after year for seven and a half years straight, guys. So this is like, this is bigger than me than just getting the car. It just so happens that I'm a Mustang content creator, so it just makes sense for me to get this car. And that's kind of where the business side of things are gonna come into play. And it's no secret when it comes to this YouTube stuff, guys, like I'm in a position now to where I make a full-time living off this stuff and I do really well for myself. And when talking about the S650 Mustang, and talking about this year, this year is gonna be by far the biggest year I've ever done, you know, revenue wise. And with this S650 Mustang dropping at kind of like the perfect time and me receiving it at the perfect time, not only is it gonna be that base platform for me to build off of and to reach more people to grow my business as an investment, but it's also going to help me on the back end of things when it comes to taxes and write-offs and tax breaks and yada yada. So that's kind of why it makes sense for me to do this, even though I'm truthfully not super stoked on the car because I have a 2022 Mach 1 handling pack sitting in the garage that will absolutely run laps around this. And that's going to go head to head with the $75,000, $80,000 dark horse that Ford is also releasing in the S650 platform. So this is just an experience for me. This is going to be a business expense for me. And this is just gonna be something to, you know, have fun with, to like just to get my hands wet with that whole feeling of, wow, I'm able to do this and do what I love every day and use it as a business tool. So I hope that clears up a lot. I know this topic isn't something that I talked a lot on other than the video showing what I ordered, but you know, I've been flip-flopping guys because with the mock getting hit and stuff, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. If I had to sell that car, I was gonna go for a GT350. And if that's the case, like it's gonna be more money than the mock and I'm not gonna be able to buy this S650 and a GT350. So that's why I was teeter-tottering because if I had to do it, I had to get rid of both of those ideas and just go with the GT350. But considering the way the mock has turned out, and if you guys didn't check yesterday's video, go watch it. The car just popped up. The Mach 1 turned out amazing and it's gonna make a full recovery and it's just gonna be right back to where I had it. So I don't wanna get rid of it. And and with keeping the mock, it's kind of like, all right, let's do it. Let's get the S650. And once that comes in, you know, I'm going to do my thing with it. And if I become bored or feel like it's not worth it, then I'm just going to move on from it. And, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people might not really see eye to eye with where I'm coming from with that. But as a business and as a content creator, I need to start getting my hands on this new stuff to, yeah, clout chase, call it what you want, but I'm gonna do what I gotta do to provide food on the table and to you know level up and upgrade in the world. And I've been doing that for seven years, eight years. I've been criticized for doing it, but look where we're at now. We, you know, I have a wife that has a C7. I now have probably one of the best S197s I could have ever dreamt of owning. I have a 2022 Mach and I'm gonna have a 2024 uh, GT. So I really can't complain and I'm not sitting here to boast or you know to show off, but I'm just being 
genuinely transparent with you all and that's just kind of my take on it so I just wanted to fill you guys in and you know talk a little bit about it let you know where my head was with it and as far as Monday if the order does start to build then I will let you guys know and I'm hoping I don't know within 30 days I should have that car and I plan on road tripping it plan on doing some simple mods having fun I do want to test the e-brake I know I just you know shat on it but I really do want to test it see how that feels and you know just go from there and give you guys a first-hand experience through Derek Brand Productions so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and where I stand with the S650 Ford you need to do better honestly 500 wheel from the factory I would have been all over this like I don't know, mouse on cheese. But these little numbers we're seeing with an upgraded dual intake setup and a beefier motor, it's just, it's honestly not acceptable. It's really not. There's, I don't know, people hype it up more than what it needs to be. It's really not that impressive. I hate to, I hate to be like that because they're not going to, you know, they're not going to with me after this video but i'm not gonna sit here and nut suck just to get an invite somewhere and you know just to be praised on and no nah, i'm not about that i'm gonna be real with y'all eco boost that thing would probably gap the s650 i'm gonna stop yapping if you guys want the s650 content from my point of view subscribe to the channel now with bell notifications and guys go watch yesterday's video where we picked up the mach 1 that thing turned out insane and tomorrow it is going for its decals which i'm stoked on and i can't wait because i'm gonna drive the living shit out of that car in the meantime guys if you would please go watch yesterday's video it is right there on the screen go run it up maverick is back i can't wait to make more content much love fam peace